Hello, everyone. I am Neil Trevitt, VP of Developer Ecosystems at NVIDIA, Kronos President and Chair of the newly formed Metaverse Standards Forum. This is an introduction to the forum and an overview of how it is bringing together many organizations throughout the industry to foster the creation and evolution of interoperability standards with the goal of enabling a flourishing and open metaverse. So the first question we are normally asked is, so what exactly is the metaverse? At a high level, most would probably agree that the metaverse is going to combine the connectivity of the web with the immersiveness of spatial computing. And that includes generating compelling virtual environments and experiences, linking real and virtual worlds, and enabling compelling multi-user interactions. But with so many diverse technologies being combined at new levels of scale, I think a detailed top-down plan for the metaverse is going to be impossible to create. Instead, the metaverse is going to evolve through a chaotic, bottom-up, Darwinian process that elevates the products and services that genuinely move the industry forward, creating a wave front of innovations and opportunities along the path to whatever form the metaverse finally takes. Standards will play a key role in enabling successful emerging technologies to be widely used with cross-vendor interoperability and so accelerating business opportunities by removing friction points to reduce costs and accelerate time to market. Also, having effective open standards that are ready to use as the metaverse is evolving increases the chances of building an open and inclusive metaverse with safe and equitable access for all. So how do open standards enable proven technologies to be pervasive? What is their superpower? The answer is that an open standard is a shared specification together with rigorous conformance tests. This enables reliable implementations to be built and shipped by multiple companies to meet the needs of diverse markets, price points, and use cases, basically enabling that technology to fan out widely across the industry. By contrast, open source projects enable multiple contributors to cooperate in building a single shared implementation. Both open source and open standards are powerful tools, and open source projects are often used to enable open standard ecosystems, but the two are often confused. It's important to understand the different strengths of open standards and open source to be able to select the right tool for the job at hand. So standards will be essential to deploying the metaverse at global scale, as they are an effective way to make technology truly ubiquitous. Computing platforms such as the PC have used hundreds of hardware and software standards to ship at scale and create a thriving ecosystem. Indeed, the act of plugging your PC into the wall outlet takes another whole interoperability ecosystem that has become so deeply embedded in our daily lives that we just take it for granted. If the metaverse is to reach its full potential, many of the technologies necessary to build it will need to become so ubiquitous that people take them for granted too. But bringing together so many diverse technologies is going to take an unprecedented level of interoperability between different platforms and products, and that means we will need a constellation of standards for many international standards organizations, just some of which are shown here. And this was actually the genesis of the Metaverse Standards Forum. Up to now, there have been no single venue to bring together standards organizations and companies constructing the metaverse, leading to potential misalignment and duplication of effort across the industry. Companies that wish to use the Metaverse Standards have needed to interact with dozens of standards organizations to try and understand a complex standards landscape often with gaps and incompatibilities. So the standards community decided it could do better and has come together to form the Metaverse Standards Forum, which brings together leading companies and standards organizations to enable industry-wide cooperation and coordination for the development of interoperability standards needed to build the open metaverse. 
If the forum is successful, the industry will have more effective metaverse standards and it will have them sooner. Open to any organization at no cost, the forum is identifying where lack of interoperability is holding back the deployment of the metaverse and directing requirements, use cases, and implementation insights to standards organizations to help accelerate the evolution and development of needed standards. The forum will also develop its own deliverables, such as a metaverse standards register to help everyone navigate the metaverse standards landscape, together with recommendations and guidelines for deploying standards. Importantly, the forum is not another standards organization, but it's a coordination forum to enable pragmatic action-based projects to accelerate testing and adoption of standards, such as implementation prototyping, pilots and test beds, plug fests, and open source tooling. All development of standards will continue at the existing standards organizations operating under their proven governance models and IP policies. When the Metaverse Standards Forum launched in June 2022, there were 37 founding organizations that shared the vision of creating a cooperative venue for Metaverse standardization. Founder members included leading organizations such as Meta, Microsoft and Sony, games engine vendors including Epic and Unity, tools vendors such as Autodesk and Adobe, hardware vendors including Nvidia and Qualcomm, retailers such as Ikea and Wayfair, Web3 companies including Lamina One, major representation from Asia, including Huawei and Alibaba, and of course, standards organizations, including the World Wide Web Consortium, the Spatial Web Foundation, the Open Geospatial Consortium, and the Kronos Group. Just two months later, interest in the forum has been stronger than we ever imagined, with over 1,500 members and counting, New members include Google and General Motors, XR hardware companies such as HTC and Magic Leap, wireless operators such as China Mobile, Verizon, and T-Mobile, leading universities including Stanford, John Hopkins, and Yale, together with many leading advocacy organizations. This level of interest is a strong indication, I think, that the industry does believe that the metaverse needs to be based on a foundation of open standards and that we need cooperation to build those standards effectively. The number of standards organizations in the forum is also expanding, including now the IEEE, the VRM Consortium Developing Avatar Standards, and the XR Safety Initiative promoting metaverse privacy, safety, security, and inclusion. Any standards organization is very welcome to join, enabling the forum with a meaningful representation from the standards community in key technology areas. The forum is working hard to not compete with any existing standardization or advocacy organizations. Actually, to the contrary, the mission of the forum is to provide networking, visibility, and cooperation to accelerate the mission of any member organizations. Having over 1,500 members in the forum is a unique opportunity to create widespread visibility and drive cooperation on metaverse standards with a meaningful participation that can make a significant difference in the industry. But of course, it also creates interesting challenges to organize for effective action and decision-making. The forum is following a five-step process to identify which topics the forum membership wishes to focus on, to organize those topics into domains, and then establish working groups to execute projects focused on solving interoperability issues in those domains. All data and results generated by forum working groups will be made publicly and openly available. The forum will prioritize domain working groups with strong member expertise and where we can identify pragmatic, actionable projects to make a meaningful difference to the wider industry. The first domain working groups will likely include 3D asset interoperability, avatars and apparel, geospatial and digital twins, Web3, education, and there's a very strong interest in privacy, safety, security, and inclusion. The forum has a very open and straightforward structure. Any organization that joins the forum 
can choose to become either a standard participant with access to all general and working group meetings, or become a principal if they wish to contribute to forum management through join, joining oversight meetings and voluntarily funding forum projects. The forum has been initiated and is being hosted by the Kronos Group for a fast startup. Kronos is a non-profit standards organization active in 3D graphics, XR, and 3D asset formats such as GLTF. Kronos is initially funding forum operations as promoting industry cooperation is part of its mission, but Kronos receives no special membership rights and is excited to help the forum structure evolve to meet the needs of the industry. An important forum principle is that it will focus on pragmatic, actionable, short-term projects to enhance metaverse interoperability. An example of such high impact projects is to test the interoperability between two important 3D standards for the metaverse, USD and GLTF. USD is a Pixar open source 3D format and runtime system that enables sophisticated authoring of 3D content. GLTF is a Kronos open standard 3D asset format that is designed for pervasive delivery of 3D content, the 3D analogy to the JPEG format for images. Many 3D content pipelines will use USD to author 3D content that is then distilled to GLTF for efficient runtime delivery and deployment. As both USD and GLTF begin incorporating metaverse behaviors and attributes, it is becoming essential to test USD to GLTF distillation in practice by creating real world assets, making them 3D available and discovering functionality and performance gaps and issues to inform the evolution of both formats and the tools and engines that use them. USD and GLTF also provide a good example of how the forum may provide a valuable venue for encouraging the coordination of roadmaps between multiple metaverse standards being developed at different organizations. USD is considering real-time interchange and delivery efficiency, while GLTF is evolving scene composability and behaviors. So there's a real danger that the two formats will begin to overlap and compete, causing industry confusion and fragmentation. The forum could provide an opportunity for cooperative discussions to build consensus on a joint path forward based on technical merit for the good of the industry. And this is just one example in the 3D graphics domain, but many other metaverse domains will have similar issues where improved industry outcomes could be forged through cooperation. So to begin wrapping up, I would like to re-emphasize a few key points. Firstly, the forum is not trying to solve the whole metaverse, but is focusing on practical, actionable projects to help solve real world interoperability issues and create commercial opportunities today. We, we like to say we are baking the open standard bricks for the metaverse, not trying to build the whole metaverse cathedral. Secondly, the forum is not a new standards organization. It won't create standards itself. Rather, it is a unique venue for enabling cooperation that we hope will enable multiple standards organizations to build standards that better meet the needs of the industry sooner. Thirdly, there are many organizations being formed around the industry to work on metaverse topics. The forum does not wish to compete with their good work. Indeed, if any of these organizations are interested in open standards, they are welcome to join the forum, and we hope that the opportunity for wider cooperation can help further their mission too. And lastly, the Kronos Group has helped bootstrap the forum as fostering standards cooperation is consistent with Kronos's nonprofit mission, but in forum meetings, Kronos is happy to be just one forum member among many others. So, Thank you for listening to this presentation. If the Metaverse Standards Forum can help further the goals of your organization, then please consider getting involved. Joining is simple with a click-through participation agreement. There are no membership fees, no NDA, no patent licensing, or minimum effort commitments. All forum members can help initiate and participate in working groups and projects that will help foster the creation of the Open Metaverse Standards that we all need. We may not yet know the precise shape that the metaverse is going to take, but I do believe that the more we cooperate on creating metaverse interoperability standards, 
the meta the better the metaverse is going to be thank you <laughs>